Well, we are continuing to learn more information about the suspects behind Thursday's deadly shooting attack in Dallas. We want to get the latest on the investigation from Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, who joins us now on the phone. Uh, Ken, as I understand, this is a criminal investigation, and so there isn't a lot that you can tell us, but we just learned the name of the suspect who died yesterday. What can you tell us about him? Actually, I don't know a lot of details yet. That's still being uh, pursued by the Dallas Police Department. The Attorney General's office here as, as an assistant, if, if we can be of any help to them, and we've had police officers involved in this, but it's their investigation, and we're, we're there to help if we can. Do you know anything about the other suspects who are in custody? All I know is when I talked to the Dallas Police Department a couple hours ago, they still didn't have a lot of information on them. They were trying to pursue more suspects, potentially at least interviewing more people so they could figure out what happened. So I think they're still in the process of interviewing people. Okay. And so as this investigation moves forward, uh, what are the next few steps? Well, I mean, they'll basically have to decide, the Dallas Police Department has to decide, you know, who, who they're going to charge, if, mm -hmm. you know, which people are going to charge, and then refer it to the uh, probably the Dallas DA for prosecution and figure out exactly what crime they're being charged with. Uh, Ken, on a, on a personal note, uh, you know, this has got to be devastating for the, for the city and for your department. Um, how, are, how are you feeling now when you look over at the city of Dallas? What are some of the emotions that are bubbling up? Well, it's pretty, pretty surreal for me. I worked a block away from where this happened many years ago, so I never thought anything like this would happen in, in Dallas. So to be there and to see hundreds of policemen uh, roaming around the city and blocking off, you know, numerous blocks in Dallas was pretty surreal and pretty odd and it was pretty sad and certainly never expected to hear. You often you know, see this stuff happen on TV, but you never think it's going to happen in your backyard. Well, it happened in our backyard and it's been shocking. Yeah, and, you know, we've been talking to various different people about uh, this about what's what happened in Dallas and you, you know there's a lot of turmoil uh, in the country in regards to law enforcement and minority communities and you can't help but to think of the civil rights movement and around that time uh, you can't help but to think of the assassination of John F Kennedy and uh, and you do when you think of Dallas many people hear Dallas and sniper and your mind goes back to that time um, this has got to be probably the first thing since that time that has, has brought the city to a, a standstill the way it has. Yeah, I, I, obviously that was a long time ago. Unfortunately, mm. there's been a long time between that, that occurrence and this occurrence. But, you know, there, there, I, I wasn't around then. I'd just been born. But, you know, that was obviously a sad day for Dallas. And this, this is a, a, Saturday, a sad day as well with the loss of, of these police officers. Yeah. Um, well, Ken Paxton, uh, Thank you, Attorney General, for uh, the area. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it.